talk about uh, Holy uh, EFI uh, decal tuning or deacceleration tuning. Yeah, I've had this uh, it's called Holy Terminator for you know a couple of years now, and uh, I don't actually run the handheld anymore. You can see that I have this little box. I think all the, the modern versions of the Terminator come with this little device here, but I couldn't find a way to tune the uh, decal through this little device right here. You know, there's no way I could. I mean, I, could, I found out how to do it in the software, and uh, the decal is actually, uh, you know, when you're driving and your throttle plate's close, it cuts off the fuel, so to prevent like a, like a rich condition. And normally I wouldn't care so much, but in this, in this car that I'm in, it's a old '66 Bronco, and the, these things are notorious for sucking in like uh, gas fumes through the back of the truck. And I'll show you in a couple seconds what I'm talking about, but. Yeah, like if I stop fast, this thing, this whole cab gets filled up with like a gnarly, you know, gas fume smell. And uh, I did it with a carburetor before too, so uh, one of the reasons why I, I converted over to fuel injection originally was to kind of prevent that. That's one of the reasons, but that's the primary reason. But and let me show you, let me get out and I'll show you this, this square back here I got. So, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's a very square back. And my exhaust pipes are right there. And what happens is I get this, like this, this uh, because it's so flat, I get like this vortex of air back here that's spinning around. And somehow it sucks back into this, this sealed cabin somehow, and it's freaking brutal, you know? Like my, my, uh, my wife can't even handle it. And uh, yeah, my kid, is, he's fine, my, my little son, but he doesn't give a shit. But yeah, my wife is really picky with the, the exhaust smell, so. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to tune this. I mean, it's pretty basic in the uh, in the software, but like I said, in the in the holy uh, the Terminator handheld and this device right here, I can't. There's no way to activate it. At least I can't find it anywhere, and I've looked for about an hour. So, but let me show you with the uh, software, or let me take it for a drive real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. How it goes into a rich condition. All right, steady as much as I can. But this is the airflow ratio, and that's what you're looking for. And it will go red when it goes into a rich condition. I'm driving fast here. I'm not really going fast, but I'm going to let the gas off. See, I kind of went rich. So my goal is to prevent that, to keep it kind of lean and at least not so damn rich so I'm not sucking so much damn exhaust in this car. Boom. Well, I wasn't going to actually go fast. I, I didn't take something right fast up there. So I'm actually I'm going to give it some gas and I'm going to punch it and you'll see what I'm talking about here. software uh, up and running here. Um, this is not actually not on a laptop. This is actually on my uh, desktop computer. And I keep it on there so I can look at my uh, configurations. So I can copy them over from my uh, car and take a look at them and see stuff. And look at graphs and stuff. But um, but yeah, uh, it, as far as I could tell, I mean, I couldn't find this decal setting anywhere on the uh, Holy Terminator handheld or that little, uh, little 3.5 test screen that I have. So... Um, yeah, decal is, uh, for me, I think for a street car, it's pretty cool because, I mean, for, at least for me, I mean, my, I get I get a crazy amount of exhaust smoke coming back into my car, so, uh, like, rich, you know, smelling gas. Uh, I'm used to it because I've had the car for 20 years, so it's not, it doesn't really bug me, but, I mean, if it's, if I could find a way to reduce it, maybe, like, save some money in gas, I mean, yeah, that'd be pretty cool, so. Okay, so, as you can see the screen in front of me, um, normally you'd open up your global catalog file. So if you're writing version 4 software, it's global catalog file. And I think if you're writing version 2, it's the global catalog folder. So and new, I actually like the newer version the, with the file versus the folder. So um, easier to transport the actual files around. So Okay, so once you're here, you would, uh, you're not sensors, you're under here. So you want to go to uh, fuel modifiers. And go to fuel control and decal fuel cutoff i don't know exactly what all these uh settings i don't know if that was, it's one second 
or one millisecond. So I mean, it seems like a second would be a long time. So I don't really know here yet, and I don't know if um, let's see fuel cutoff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I do actually. I mean, I, mean I, I have a lot of experience with Mega Squirt, and Mega Squirt's pretty cool too. But I really like this Holy stuff. It's it's more. I guess there's less options, so it's a little bit easier to follow. Whereas there's so many options with Mega Squirt that it's sometimes can be overwhelming. But uh, fuel control decal cutoff da, 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 allows shut off. Occurs the engine RPM is over a specific point. Okay. The wait time. Well, I guess I'm going to have to experiment with that. May tune to increment, so... I guess I'll, I'll mess with that and see if... Uh, well, I guess I, I want to see if this, this whole thing even makes a difference, so... So, I'm going to take the car out again right now. You know, let it warm up, and... and uh, I'm going to give it some, you know, some bursts of, you know, like, you know, some throttles. And I guess my goal is to see if it... At least I can maybe reduce my ridge condition, you know, as I come off the throttle. You know, as the butterfly or the, or the valves close... To cut off fuel quicker, so I'm not sending a bunch of unburnt fuel out the tailpipe and having to come back in my cabin. So, all right, yeah, like I said, I looked everywhere in those uh, handheld and the and the, the 3.5 touchscreen, couldn't find find this enable this feature anywhere. So I, I you probably if you own a Terminator or you know you'll have to get a USB cable and connect it to a laptop to enable this. So I can't remember if the older versions of software enabled this or not, but. Not sure, but I'm running version 4, so if you're running the old version 2, you might be able to find it. I never could, so... But, alright, cool, let me know. So yeah, the next step, I'm going to go back into my car again and uh, see if uh, the setting made any uh, difference. Alright, cool. Alright guys, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but... Uh, it's the Bronco. Uh, actually, I do have my tablet connected right now, so you can see the gauges there. And you can see that that's my uh, handheld right there, so I don't know if it's more focused, but I said about 183 degrees and I'm a little bit warmed up. Usually uh, my thermostat's 195, so I typically run in the 190 range, so get this thing a drive and we'll see what happens real quick. Let's see if that decal thing works. I, mean, I might have to learn because like I said, it's never done this before, so I'm trying to keep the camera out there. Still went rich, but I don't know, maybe not as rich. I guess it's yeah, still going rich. So I think I'm gonna make it quicker. The amount of how quickly it actually goes into D D uh D I don't know, decal, deceleration.